Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see example which is start and stop main and auxiliary motors based on running time using PLC. So let us understand its user definition. First of all, if the main switch is off then both motors should remain off. Here I have created one HMI screen through it. User can enter set hours for motors that is for what duration the main and auxiliary motors will run and will display the running hour of motor which will be stored through PLC. Now if the system is on, the main motor will on and remain on until the running hours of main motor will become equal to set hours. Finally, when the running hours of main motor will become equal to set hour given by user, at that time main motor will be off and auxiliary motor will start. So the running hour of main motor will become zero because next time it should start from zero. And here you can see the running hour of auxiliary motor is started and it will remain on until this running hour of auxiliary motor equals to set hour of auxiliary motor again after this main motor will start this thing is used in industry because some process require motor to start for 24 by 7 hours so in that condition we should give rest to our main motor so we use auxiliary motor or standby motor and we use control like this Note here that for simulation purpose we have reduced the running hours of motor here. Let us understand the wiring requirement for our project. So first of all let us understand the input circuit. So here you can see these are our digital inputs. So in that source sink first of all we will connect the ground terminal of our SMPS2 here. Now 24 volt DC from the SMPS we will connect it to one terminal of our start stop push button and it's another terminal we will connect it to x0 position we will understand the output circuit required for this project so so here you can see first of all in the common we have to connect the ground terminal of smps now our actual output is the motor but that is turned on by dol starter so this is MPCB which will work as both MCB and OLR and this is our contactor. So as you know we cannot directly energize contactor through PLC outputs. So for that we have used relay over here. So first of all let us understand the input circuit of this relay. In that one terminal of each relay we will connect it to 24 volt supply. Another terminal of relay 1 that we will connect it to Y0 position and another terminal of relay 2 that we will connect it to Y1 position. So how it will operate for example if Y0 is on so it will provide this ground path through Y0 terminal. So what will happen here supply is continuously available but if the Y0 is on then return path would will not be available if y0 is on then return path will be available here and this relay will become on similarly this relay will operate when y1 will on now let us understand the output circuit of this relay first of all as you know there are three terminals common no and nc so the common terminal of each relay we will connect it to 230 volt phase now its no terminal we will connect it to main motor contactor and for Y1 this relay its NO terminal we will connect it to A1 terminal of auxiliary contactor and A2 terminal of each contactor we will connect it to neutral. So when this relay will be on power will flow from here to this A1 and A1 and A2 will get supply so this contactor will become on and that will on our main motor. If the Y1 is on, this relay will be on and it will on this contactor. So, this auxiliary motor will on. So, this is all about our output circuit.
now we will understand the logic required to create this project so first of all when the switch is on we have to compare the current running time of plc the set time of main motor given by user now the running time is stored in one data register finally when the current running time of plc and the set time given by user becomes equal main motor that is our output y0 should be off and it should also reset the running time stored in data register after that it has to turn on the auxiliary motor in this condition only similarly we will compare the running time of auxiliary motor which will be stored in data register with the set time given by user if the running time of auxiliary motor and set time of auxiliary motor becomes equal then we have to turn off the auxiliary motor reset the run time stored in data register and now turn on the main motor so these things will be clear to you more while we will do programming so let's start our programming so now i will start my isp soft software from here first of all we will click on new file Him, yes. Give name to your project. Click OK button. So as usual, first of all, we will write device command list from here by double clicking it. This box will open. So in the input, we have only used one start stop button. So here I will write start stop. Now we have total two outputs. So here I will write main motor. Press enter and in Y1 we will write auxiliary motor to data register D0 for the set time given by user. will be the here i will write set time for main motor and uh, d1 will be our run time of main motor d2 will also be used for the run time of main motor now in d3 it will be set time of our auxiliary motor D4 and D5, this both will be used to store the runtime of auxiliary motor. We'll just write auxiliary over here. So let us close this box. Double click on programs and right click on it and click on new file and click OK. First of all, we will write the network comment over here. Turn on main motor and count runtime. Press enter. So, first of all, if the main switch is on, it should turn on main motor, and along with it, it should start counting its time. So select a contact from here, bring your cursor to this red portion and click over it. Now here we want one output. So select the output coil from here and click over here. Let us give its name. Here I will write x0, press enter and this is our output y0 that is our main motor and click anywhere. So if my system is on, first of all my main motor should on. Besides this, I will also insert one internal relay. I will write M0. Double click over it to select NC. Its function I will explain you later. Now 
we want to count the running time of this motor that how many hours this motor has run so for that we will understand the instructions so for that click on help menu and select this plc instruction and special register reference and here type hour and press enter okay, here i have to write hour and press enter so double click on the first thing you see over here let us maximize this so this is the new instruction that we are going to use today its name is hour and its mnemonics is also hour so first of all it has one input s this is the set hour given by user so here we have to enter how many hours we want to run this motor or run this function in the d1 we will give one address so at this address it will store the current running time of plc and when that running time that means the hour in the d1 will become two input given over here d2 that is the output it will be on so you can see example over here here we have written 100 this d1 here we have written d0 so what it will do it will store the current running time of plc in d0 when the value of d0 will become equals to this hour given by user it will own our output y0 so in this way you can use this function its applications can be street light on of control or in the machinery you want to set one alarm that after 2000 hours bearing should be changed or bearing oil should be changed so in this way you can display message by using this function so let me close this right now we are going to use this function to on off main and auxiliary motor so now go to functions block select all types and from here i will write our and click on insert button so you can see our block is inserted now as i explained you here we want to get value from user from hmi so here we will use one data register so what is that it is d0 as i explained you earlier in the network comments d0 is set time now don't confuse that d2 is a data register it is just a output so first of all in the d1 i will write d1 only this is our data register and here d2 it doesn't mean the data register it, it is just showing its two outputs so here i will write m1 okay so when this both value will become equal our m1 will be on similarly we will write the same code for auxiliary motor so insert a network command from here first of all we will write a network command so here i will write press enter so same way first of all we will check whether the system is on or not after that we will use one internal relay m0 and then we will use output coil to turn on our output y1 that is our auxiliary motor and after that we want one hour function here because we also want to count running time of auxiliary motor so for that go to functions and again insert our block now write each addresses so select pointer and here i will write x0 press enter here i will use m0 its function i will explain you soon here the set time for auxiliary motor so this i will use d3 register so the value given from user will be stored in d3 register now its running hour will be stored in d4 its output will be m1 internal relay sorry m2 internal relay because m1 we have already used over here so by this and uh, and finally here our output y1 and press enter the m0 i will keep it as n only so friends how this code will work that i will explain you now 
insert a network from here. Come here to the first instruction. What we have done, if the system is on, we have used one internal relay M0 and it will start counting the running hours and also start the main motor. When the running hour becomes equal, M1 will become on. Now we will use this M1 function over here. In the network, just write control logic 1, press enter, select the contact from here, give its name M1, press enter. So at this time what should happen, it should turn on this M0 bit so that our auxiliary motor should on because what is the function of this when the timing is completed auxiliary motor should be on and how it will be on if we on this M0 bit because X0 is al already on. So first of all we will make here M0 on. So right over here M0 and double click over it to set so it will become on. Again click to here what we want to do we want to reset this running hour of main motor because when the next time main motor will start it should start counting from zero so we have to reset this so again select coil here we will write one double click over it to reset this so the runtime of main motor will be resetted now finally what we want to do we want to reset this m1 itself so again select a coil right over here M1 and double click over it to select reset. So now you will understand the work of M0 it will start auxiliary motor similar. So after this what will happen this auxiliary motor will start and it will also start counting the running hours of auxiliary motor and when this running hour of auxiliary motor will become equal to set time this M2 will become on. So now you will understand this M0. So click insert button. Here I will write control logic 2. Take a contact right over here M2. So when the auxiliary motor running hours is completed, first of all, it should reset M0. So if the M0 will reset it, this NC will become on and it will turn on our main motor and as the M0 is resetted, so this auxiliary motor will be off, right? So first of all, here we have to reset the M0. You can see here we have set M0, here we will use reset M0. So I will select coil. First of all, we will require three outputs, so I am clicking it three times. Now our first output is M0, we want to reset this. So this will be resetted, so it will off, auxiliary will off. Because it is resetted, it, its NC will be on, so main motor will be on. Now to reset the running hours of auxiliary motor, so here I will write D4 and reset. So the running hour of auxiliary motor will be resetted and finally we want to reset M2 itself. So again here I will select reset. So if you are feeling confusing or not getting clear it, just go back from starting and listen the programming from beginning. I am sure you will get it my point. So this is all about programming of our main and auxiliary motor on of using PLC. It's simulation and HMI designing. I will teach you in next video. Till then, if you want to learn more examples like this, visit our YouTube channel instrumentontools.com and automationcommunity.com. Show your interest by liking and subscribing. Meet you in the next video.